the more we watched, the worse it got, the more it kind of settled in just how bad the situation was progressing. Sisters from San Diego described the disaster unfolding on their annual trip to Lahaina. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kimberly Hunt and my co-anchor Wale Aliu will join us live from Del Mar in just a few minutes where he's covering the first day of school. But we begin with the wildfires in Maui, now the deadliest wildfire in the U.S. in a century. At least 99 people are dead. That number expected to keep rising. Complete neighborhoods destroyed. Families families left to pick up the pieces. ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen talked to three local sisters about their frantic search for loved ones and the fate of their family homes. For three sisters living in San Diego, their annual trip to Lahaina is one of the highlights of their year. This trip would end in heartbreak. This was the windy scene that Tuesday morning at their two family homes in Lahaina, a day after sisters Caitlin and Kaylee Abelos and half-sister Brianna Kirchner arrived in the area. Fire crews battled the first flames that morning. We had heard that there was a fire in Lahaina Luna that had been 100% contained at that point. Um, so we decided to go to the beach just to get out of the house. Hours later, word of evacuations and a frantic drive toward Lahaina. It looked like it was overtaking like most of the sky that was in our view. We tried to go and back to Lahaina to make sure they're okay and everything, but by that time, all the roads had been blocked. They knew two of their grandmothers had been at home. Overnight, under the glow of the fire, the sisters sat in their car, not knowing the fate of their loved ones. The next day, family members, including their grandmothers, would be reunited near a shelter north of Lahaina. They just burst into tears and, and gave us the biggest hug, and we just gave them a hug. The news not as joyful when it came to their family homes. Truly heartbreak, heartbreaking because um, those houses have been in our family for so long. This is what remains of the two homes, which dated back to the 70s. They had sat next to each other. An aunt was the first to visit the site. The words she used, if I recall, is I'm homeless. About 50 years worth of memories gone. A state of shock and, and kind of numb. The sisters believe the homes are insured, but it's not clear how much will be covered. The sisters are scheduled to fly back Wednesday, but emotionally they are torn. They want to help loved ones, but don't want to burden them with finding a place for the women to stay. We understand why we have to go back, but if it was up to us, obviously we would like to stay. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help the family rebuild their homes. There is a link on our homepage, 10news.com.